Today's lecture, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of lamp stacking here. So we're on Debian 10, right? And I'm kind of logged in. I'm doing my thing. I'm logged in just as myself. So one of the first things I need to do is I need to just go ahead and go into root and make sure that I can do everything from there. So again, the way to check and see if your root is that name, root at Debian versus Dan M at Debian. And then, you know, always want to make sure that we do oops, spelling. So we're going to be typoing a lot today, app get update, right? And again, it's just to make sure that everything is like good to go and that we don't have anything um, out of conformance. This is one of those things I try to encourage every time you log in as root, just to go ahead and do an update. When we install things, um, we'll be going through and making sure what we got to do. Um, you can either sudo in each time or you can just go ahead and su. I'm just going to go ahead and su on this one. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, install Apache. So we're going to apt spelling, more spelling, get install Apache 2. So basically we just want to install Apache. It's going to go through and take a look, dependency, do we want to do this? Yes, we do. And basically what it does, it goes down, pulls down everything that you want to have, um, and then goes ahead and gets that all in started. Um, so now we've got that done, what we want to do is we want to go and make sure we've got stuff open in on the firewall. So to do this, we want to go UFW allow, right, in www full, ooh, typo, www full. So that will tell you to open up port 443 and port 80, right, your two, um, ooh, UFW is not found on this. So we'll go ahead and we'll check on that one, but it may not work, it may not be, it may not be, but we'll check. Um, but that basically updates the firewall, opens port 80 and 443. Um, we may not have that problem here if the firewall is not working, right? So I may not have turned on the firewall when I installed this, and that's okay. If you have the firewall installed, go ahead and do the UFW allow in, um, www full, and that should take care of it if you have firewall working. The next thing we want to do is we want to set up a, a database, right? So we're going to do apt get install. MariaDB server, right? And that's the one we want to do there. And again, we'll check it. It's going to go ahead and do all the things that we want it to do. So then we want to just go ahead and secure this. So when we get this done, we'll want to run the security bits on this and uh, get that done. So we want to do mysql underscore secure underscore installation. So because I haven't done all this, this yet, um, we're just going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so I didn't set a root user or password or anything, so we just went ahead and hit enter. Um, so switch to Unix socket authentication. This is really kind of important. Um, then we do want to change, uh, or have your root. I'm not going to change my root password because I want to leave it like that. Remove anonymous users. Yes. No, because I need to be able to log in remotely. Remove test database and access to it, yes, because we don't need that. Reload privilege table, yes. All right, so what we basically did though when we did that, right, is I'm, we left, I did leave root password um, blank for right now, but I need to be able to log in remotely um, just because there's gonna be some MySQL workbench stuff we're gonna do, and I'm not gonna do that locally on the box. We're gonna actually be doing this on a different box so we can show how to do remote work all using MySQL um, um, workbench with this and then we're going to go ahead and kill off the test database and I'll access to it. I mean there's no point in having the test database. We're going to be going straight to prod. It's kind of cool and then making sure that we'll reloaded the privilege tables so that all these changes take effect immediately. That's the big one right and then once that's all done it cleans up. So basically what you've done now reset your password. We dropped the test database. We went ahead and made sure that we're doing sockets level authentication so um, when you try to log in, it's going to enforce that login process, right? So that will do. And then what we want is from there is we want to make sure of what we've got here. So we want to do apt install php lib apache to mod php php gd oops gd 
and then PHP MySQL. All right, so basically we want all of the libraries for Apache, we want PHP TG, and then we want PHP MySQL. So we do want those packages. And then we're gonna go ahead and say, yes, I want that. And then that will work doing its thing, pulling down all of its stuff. All right. And that's doing it, it's doing all the creating files. And again, you definitely want to do this as root. If you try to do this as um, um, anything else, it just turns into a nightmare of broken things, right? So now that we've done that, everything should be updated, right? But we want to make sure that we're good here. So we want to do apt get update again, just to make sure that we're good. We're good there. And then what we want to do is do just in case apt get upgrade just in case there was something that didn't get missed it goes through and checks and make sure that everything is actually the latest version and that's a really important part of this whole process is even though you just downloaded everything the thing to, to do and go would be to take a look at it and go from there so now if we did all this right right if we did all this right then we should be able to pull up this and bring up our firefox and we should be able to go localhost And that's our Apache 2 Debian default page. So we set, we're done. We actually went ahead and we installed our our um, our entire thing. Um, we've got our configuration ready to go. We're gonna do some other installing later on, but that's it to the LAMP stack, right? That's all that you've really got to do to make sure what you've got here, um, of what you've got. And then you can just go ahead and close that out if you want, close tabs. And then, so that's it, right? Um, so if you ever want to know, just hit the update uh, the up arrow key and you can kind of go through this. So we'll go through what these commands were, right? So apt get install Apache 2, right? So that was our www server. Um, UFW allow, I probably didn't turn on the firewall. So um, even though we got an error on that, if you do have the firewall up and running, um, go ahead and do that. UFW allow in www full, which opens up port 80 and port 443 app get install maria db server right make sure that you're good to go there and then go ahead and secure that installation make sure you're doing sockets level authentication make sure you cleared out all of the test users and test databases because you really am not going to need them and again we'll do doing some other things with my sql workbench later on as we go through app get apt install php lib apache 2 so there's all the libraries for apache 2 um php gd and php mysql just to make sure that you've got all this stuff that should get you going and then make sure that you updated and upgraded everything again. And that's it. That's the whole LAMP stack right there, guys. There's nothing else to it. And then verify it works by bringing up and going to localhost on your file. So that's it for this lecture on how to install LAMP stack on Debian. Um, do give me a shout if you've got any questions. And I hope to see you in the next lecture. Thank you.